Hello, everybody. I'm Elsa Ramon. And I'm Lena Wynn. Our top story tonight, we begin with the battle for New York. Tonight, frontrunners Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton have won big victories to re-energize both of their campaigns. KCAL 9's Tom Wade is live in the newsroom with the latest results and reaction from the candidates tonight. Tom. Elsa and Lena, really stunning victories here just because the margin of victory, especially on the Republican side, was so intense. A landslide victory for Donald Trump. Let's get right to it. You can take a look here at the results. Here they are. This is Donald Trump with 60% of the vote, 25% going to John Kasich, and only 15% going to Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz definitely hurt by his comments about New York. You might remember back at one of the debates, he criticized Donald Trump for having New York values. Certainly, that must have come back to haunt him. Tonight, Donald Trump spoke at a victory rally in New York City, and he seemed very confident and proud of his victory. We don't have much of a race anymore, based on what I'm seeing on television. Senator Cruz is just about mathematically eliminated. And we've won another state. As you know, we have won millions of more votes than Senator Cruz, millions and millions of more votes than Governor Kasich. We've won, and now, especially after tonight, close to 300 delegates more than Senator Cruz. We're really, really rocking. This is the year of the outsider. I'm an outsider. Bernie Sanders is an outsider. Both with the same diagnosis, but both with very different paths to healing. And the, problem, the problem that we have is we have not had the leadership to get people to rise to a higher level than how they would normally perform if they have a governmental position. You see, leaders get people to do better. All right, let's take a look at the Democratic side. We have Hillary Clinton as a projected winner with 58% of the vote. Bernie Sanders pulling in 42% of the vote. Sanders, of course, trying to catch up with Hillary Clinton's massive delegate lead, but he wasn't even in New York. He was in Pennsylvania tonight. Clinton stuck around New York to take a victory lap where she called the win deeply meaningful. Thank you all so much. Thank you. You know, today, today, you proved once again there's no place like home. <laughs> In this campaign, we've won in every region of the country. From the north to the south to the east to the west, but this one's personal. Now, I don't want you to tell anybody this. So keep it. But Secretary Clinton is getting a little bit nervous. And the American people are catching on that if we are going to prevent Trump or some other Republican from occupying the White House, which would be a disaster for our country, we have got the campaign to make sure that that does not happen. Both Clinton and Trump took shots at their rivals, but the tone was much more civil at this point in the campaign than it has been in the past. We heard Donald Trump referring to Senator Cruz as Senator Cruz for the first time in a while. He usually refers to him as Lion Ted. We didn't hear any of that tonight. And Clinton, during her victory speech, only took really one veiled shot at uh, Bernie Sanders, basically making a point that he offers a lot of criticism, but not a lot of solutions to the problems facing the country. So there we have it, a big win for both Clinton and Trump tonight. Back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, Tom, so what does this mean for both party conventions? Well, if you can believe it, the, the Republican convention is hardly settled at this point. I mean, Trump has a huge lead right now over both of his rivals, but that doesn't mean that he has the 1,237 delegates that he needs to get over the hump. California will once again be a huge, huge state now, very important. But Trump, even with all the delegates he'll probably collect tonight, he may not get 
get to that 1237 when they go into the convention this summer. Now, on the Democratic side, it really looks difficult mathematically for Bernie Sanders. I mean, there's still a path, but it's very narrow and it's very, very difficult at this point, especially when you look at the superdelegates on the Democratic side. And uh, Hillary Clinton just has a monumental uh, lead there in that, in that area. Yeah, she sure does. Tom, thank you so much. And we have continuing coverage of campaign 2016. Tonight at 9, a political analyst joins us with an in-depth look at tonight's vote.